A brand new mode added into Halo 5 now. Great way to grind out your XP to get the 152, and I'll show you how. And also, updates coming for MCC PC flighting. Hopefully still happening this week, guys. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary news awesomeness coming for you guys here. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button so it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are in the video as well and the topics we discuss. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub feeds can be kind of weird at times. Let's get right into the video here. But I do know we do talk a lot about MCC and Halo Infinite quite a bit on this channel as of recent, but Halo 5 is still very much a thing and it's still very fun. I still play it all, very, every week for multiple days uh, on my live stream, which if you guys want to check it out, link in the description down below. But I just want to say that we actually have a brand new mode that I've been actually genuinely looking forward to coming to Halo 5. That mode being Husky Raid. So if you guys do not know what Husky Raid is, it's an awesome, silly, fun game mode that was actually originally created back in Halo 3, kind of got popular I feel like in Halo 4, and also now it's been brought to Halo 5. And it, trust me guys, it's a ton of just silly fun because you get to just jump around with crazy overpowered weapons, because it's a fiesta mode, but it's also a capture the flag, but all you have is one tunnel to make it through and it's kind of ridiculous obviously with a lot of these fabulous forge maps that are brand new to this mode as well and uh, they're all just amazingly forge maps obviously there's certain variations but the main idea is that you have one flag at the end one flag at the other a hallway down the middle best of luck to you the guy who created this mode originally originally back in halo 3 was a husky old guy hence the name husky raid as it's his mode and it's a raid you're basically just jumping at each other the whole time and it's tons of fun also this mode is a fantastic way to ground your way up to 152 as it is a featured mode and i believe games you know depending on how long you dominate uh it could be other full-time match or whatever but generally you get about 10k experience per match if you're using a legendary xp boost which are, you should have gotten plenty of those the last two special packs have been uh, very heavy on the xp boost so you should have a bunch of those or at least hopefully you do this mode is gonna be a great way to grind that out right now let me tell you it's just a ton of fun trying to rack up some nice multi kills with some sniper rifles and some rocket launchers make it an excellent push or clutch play to kind of make your way through it's tons of fun trust me guys jump in play you'll have a good time and it seems like it as well because i tried playing team arena the other last night and i literally just sat in the lobby forever trying to search for matches even though the other day i was finding matches no problem i'm pretty sure the entire halo 5 population is playing husky raid right now and now for some halo mcc flighting news which i'm sure you guys are all here for so basically uh, as we do know last week Unishake said on a post saying this week we're going to be doing some flight testing and everyone's kind of waiting and waited and waited some more and no one's received any emails and it's as the time of posting this video it's friday making this thursday night and so basically the team some people on 343 kind of started going on and telling you what's going on with this whole thing the postums over on twitter said this june blog will be up tomorrow as of well friday of uh, the 28th if you're watching this and he said expect to hear some more information midday on friday when it comes to flighting programs uh if we're going to be doing it or not for the mcc in the month of june also guys keep in mind that we have fourth of july which is the american holiday i'm sure most of you know that's gonna be on thursday i would not expect flighting to happen that way because i'm sure a lot of people are probably going out of town as it probably stretch into a four-day weekend and so uh, I wouldn't expect anything happening next week either. It'd probably be the second week of July is when I would expect to see something happen if we don't get anything in June. Yeah, keep an eye out for that post from Postums, and I'll make sure to make a video about it as well if there's any juicy details that I, we need to share with you guys for sure. Now, I've also received a bunch of questions of what's this beta going to be like? What are we going to be playing in this flighting program? And we actually haven't really had a solid idea of what. I mean, we kind of had like some educated guesses as we've what we've seen. And uh, basically, uh, on Sketch on Twitter, basically just kind of confirmed this, where a player asked, said, hey Sketch, do you know if Halo Reach Flying on PC will start tomorrow for this weekend? And he says, nothing today, hopefully for tomorrow, but waiting for a final word on the teams as they review flight pre-flight status. The person also pushes forward asking about, like, is, I've heard that basically this is going to be the tip of the spear mission that we've seen on the E3 demo. Is that going to be what's the content that we're going to be playing for the flying beta? And Sketch replies, that is the current scope 
of the first Insider Flight. It's an updated version of what we demoed at E3. Once everything is locked, we will share the detail. Yeah, guys, it sounds like it's a bit iffy right now if we're gonna be getting the flying program in July, I hope so. By the time I'm making this video, I'll make sure to tweet out anything that we hear anything about this, guys. So make sure you follow me on Twitter, link in the description as well, just saying. Uh, but I'll definitely make a video on it as soon as possible as well, because obviously we're gonna be wanting to play this uh, and play it a lot. Now I understand with the whole thing when it comes to game development that things can change last minute and things get delayed. And I totally understand that, but uh, I mean, at this point, be kind of giving the community blue balls here, 343, uh, ever since April, saying that we're going to do the flighting program in April, and never mind, it's June now. And then I think they kind of made that announcement of it being like early June, but they didn't realize, oh wait, E3 is next weekend. Yeah, that's probably like going to be a very good time to put it out. And then uh, after that, the team kind of comes home back to Seattle and then they're kind of trying to push things forward on that like it's just there's a lot of things going on recently and so I'm sure it's outside of just development which can really slow down the actual development of the game itself so I totally understand that I think that maybe 343 probably may just do a little bit better job of making sure that absolutely when they have a flight set date that they can actually do it um, I think just making an announcement saying that you know making assumptions that oh yeah we'll have it done by the end of the week I think the main thing is you gotta make sure that you have it done by the time you say it's ready to go next time because uh, just kind of like dingling this little carrot at the end of the string is kind of getting a little bit much for us I'm sure as a lot of everyone's just like where is, is this flighting program we need it. I understand frustrations from players I understand how this could be a little bit confusing or how just the development cycle when it comes to making games so I totally understand both ends both ends are right on this kind of situation. Uh, I think just make sure that next time you make some kind of preliminary date that you actually know that you can hit that for sure. Because trust me, if uh, you know flying news goes out, I mean the news will spread. People will know. People will get their emails, and so I don't think you need to make sure to have a week's notice that we will get information. Just let us know when it's ready. You know, it still has, it needs more time in the oven. You know what I mean? But yeah guys that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it go get yourself into some husky raid action on halo 5 trust me it's a fun fun time of just silly blowing up awesomeness right there the maps are fantastic as well by the way so you definitely want to go check those out and sadly we don't have any quite concrete information right now when it comes to the flighting program on the mcc um I, that's the time of making this video i should say uh in the future on um, friday we should have some more information i'll make sure to pass that information on to you guys i'll definitely tweet it out on twitter when as soon as it happens as well so make sure you follow me there and uh yeah other than that guys thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it um if you enjoyed the video please make sure to tap that like button let me know you want to see some more content like this leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the video as well and if you're new to the channel and want to update with anything halo related make sure to tap subscribe with the bell and if you're like i said new to the channel or missed any content for me recently check out the videos on the screen right now and i'll catch you on the next video peace out